right, let's talk about wheels, tires, studs, lug nuts. There's a lot of them around in drag racing, believe me. So this wheel right here is the Weld Delta One wheel. This wheel weighs 20 pounds. These wheels were developed a few years ago and we were able to take them and set the national ET record with them. The difference in this wheel versus the most wheels, as you can see, it is constructed of one giant chunk of aluminum. This wheel is much stronger, it's much lighter. These wheels are typically about six to eight pounds lighter than the average wheel. The reason being with this cone shape is stronger. Most wheels have a bolt in center where this one's one piece. So it's much more rigid. And believe it or not, when a top fuel car takes off with a two piece wheel, where it's bolted to the rear end housing versus the outside of the wheel, it actually will distort. These wheels are much stronger, much lighter, and they're awesome. Kind of a cool thing that's been done in the nitro cars over the last few years is we've always ran these big 11 16 studs since I've been driving top fuel car, but what has changed is the drive hubs. Now they've got these lugs in the drive hub itself and if you look at the back of the wheel right here, you can see those lugs are actually cut out the same in the back of the wheel. So when the wheel is put on, it mates up right into the drive lugs and the lug nuts are applied pressure, keeping it up against the drive hub, but all the work's being done off these lugs right here. So that wheel is 20 pounds, essentially with no hardware, without the bead locks. And if you look here at a completely assembled wheel and tire, Goodyear, Big old tire, these things weigh about 85 pounds. So you think about that, that. These things got 170 pounds of weight spinning around at over 300 miles an hour. And you see those cool videos, cool pictures of the distortion in the tires. Just think about how big that wheel is. Everybody loves how they narrow up when you do the burnout. And then they kind of get into that D shape as they're approaching the finish line. It is a lot of force happening back here. Lots of centrifugal action, strong wheels, good tires is how we go really quick and really fast. Thank you guys for tuning in. A real quick Parts Plus Motorsports moment. Hope you liked the video. Push that like and subscribe button. Leave your comments down below. Maybe we can get to what you want to know about next.